hundred Americans and injured thousand more. Remember? They have justified the assassination of Qasim Soleimani by claiming that he was planning imminent attacks. This guy is, you know, was as bad as he was an official of the Iranian government. And you unleash them if China does that. You know, if Russia does that. You know, Russia has been implicated under Putin with assassinating dissidents. They let this guy get that far. They empowered him. And now they have buyer's remorse. I wonder why. I think the, the last 24 hours have been a big wake-up call for Democrats. That's what I think. Um, the Iowa caucus was a debacle. What he was saying to African Americans can be effective. I'm scared to death. I really am. I'm afraid that Donald Trump is going to get reelected. I'm not about a revolution. I'm not an ideologue. There's a certain part of the Democratic Party that wants us to be a cult. I'm not interested in being in a cult. I'm reading last night about the fall of France in the summer of 1940, and the general, Renault, calls up Churchill and says, it's over. And Churchill says, how can it be? You've got the greatest army in Europe. How can it be over? He said, it's over. And so, now, they're out there digging up his old perverted writings from the 1970s. You know the expression, careful what you wish for. They wanted this. The left wanted Bernie. I mean, they've been banging the drum over and over again, that whole beat of class warfare. They've been doing it for years. If you were successful, somebody along the line gave you some help. Somebody invested in roads and bridges. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. When you have no defense against paying fairer tax rates, what do you have to do? You have to come up with a lie. You have to come up with a slogan. Class warfare. Class warfare. A war against the middle class and the working poor. Namely, the Republican position that Americans are not working enough and they're not poor enough. <laughs> so they've inverted that whole class warfare thing. Because you know what? They are the ones that have created the whole class warfare thing. Let's be very, very clear on that. They are the ones that have created this have and have nots mentality. They are the ones that have empowered a guy like Bernie Sanders to be where he is tonight. Along comes a guy, right, that is a total extension of everything they have been telling us for the last decade and some other surprise. The truth is, they have absolutely no one to blame tonight by, but themselves. They told the world that Donald Trump and capitalism was all wrong. The only economic promise he's kept is tax cuts for giant corporations. We should be giving middle class people tax cuts, not wealthy people tax cuts. They don't need it. Give the rich more tax cuts and cut regulations. That's how they get richer and more powerful. Yeah, exactly. This is their argument all along, and it hasn't worked. It's only landed Bernie where he is. They have been wrong over and over and over again. They like to say that somehow Donald Trump's tax cuts only helped the rich. <laughs> In fact, I'll tell you, the rich in places like New York and California, they actually pay more. Because you know what? They no longer get that nice little state deduction off their federal income taxes. They pay more thanks to Donald Trump. And yet the left refuses to recognize that. And instead, they promote lie after lie after lie. They said Trump represented the devil. Like literally, right? I do, I do actually believe that was the cover of Time Magazine at one point after Trump won. Remember? The devil ears, you see, with the M coming out of his head? It, President Trump has done an extraordinary amount to promote our capitalist origin right here at home, well, simultaneously, and this is how government should work, protecting American workers from this unbridled capitalism thanks to the restructuring of the trade agreement. I mean, he's gotten rid of the onerous regulations that made it hard for small businesses and big ones to do business. He's lowered taxes for the vast amount of Americans, unless you're a billionaire, like I said, living in New York or California, and then you actually, uh, well, you have your state to blame for that one. And his policies, in turn, have created jobs, 4.7 million jobs, bringing us to the best job market we've had in 50 years, while median incomes have jumped $4,000. This is capitalism. Capitalism works. 
And yet, the left's constant class warfare nonsense. Capitalism has all kinds of failures. Isn't 10 million enough? Like, when does it stop? Yeah, when it's too much. Right? Time. Capitalism has not always existed in the world, and it will not always exist in the world. You made a fortune in America. You had a great idea. You got out there and worked for it. Good for you. But you built that fortune in America, I guarantee you built it in part using workers all of us help pay to educate. You know, all that chatter, it has resulted in this. NBC News projects Bernie Sanders, the winner in Nevada. Bernie Sanders will win the New Hampshire Democratic presidential primary. Tonight. Remember, Bernie Sanders is not who we are. Venezuela, China, Cuba, these countries should never be held up as models of success. We have freedom, and I sure hope we always will. The left can scramble to undo candidate Bernie Sanders with opposition research, and I hope they do. But they are the reason he exists. Once, just once, I wish they'd show a little patriotism. Please do so before it's too late. That's tonight's intel. Joining me right now, media reporter from the Hill, Joe Concha. Joe, good to see you. Wow, I gotta follow that. <laughs> I mean, that was uh, it's an impressive argument. I'll put it that way. Thank you very much, sir. But I, I really look at it and, and I think of where the media's been right over the last decade or so, Joe. And and yeah. they, in fact set the stage for this guy now they're saying to themselves whoa, whoa what do we do we might actually have a socialist that could you know win the nomination but he's a product in so many ways joe's of them and of the left and you talk like that for so long and look what you get and when the focus is only on one man and that's donald trump and that's been over the last four years a bernie sanders can breeze through this primary which has been going on now basically for a year and not get the kind of vetting that he deserves as far as those writings i get they're from 50 years ago basically they're, they're written in 1972 but bernie is so old that still puts him firmly in adulthood so when you talk start talking about women's rape fantasies or how you can get cancer from having too many orgasms uh, let's put it this way. Go to the parallel universe, Trish, and what if you unearth writings from Donald Trump from the University of Pennsylvania if you wrote things like that? I mean, it, you would have, you would need more hours in the day for 24-7 cable news coverage to cover that story. And